If you ain't a grinder, you no kin to me. New Versace on, come and get a whip for me. Flexing on these haters like my name was Mr. T. What else? This motherfucker slapping, call it Twisted T. <laughs> Need a verse, shit, yeah, that's 250 or 10 to 3. Get it. Running to the bread like King Henry in Tennessee. Yeah. It's got a death wish as soon as I go pick a beast. Yeah, yeah this motherfucker slapping, call it Twisted T. Yeah. <laughs> Bow! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chad Arms, aka Chetty Bobby 1130. And uh, we haven't done a fragrance video. In almost a year. Nah, it ain't been quite that long. Since October, I think, September. I bought so many bottles of cologne in 2020 and sold about half of my collection, more than half. But I still kept a good a good grip of them. And um, I'm getting back into doing updates on this channel. I don't know how often I'll do for, uh, cologne ones. But I'm gonna, I gotta do a movie, shoot a movie update. I just haven't done anything in a couple of months. I've been focused on the music channel. Uh, if you anyone subscribe to Chat Arms TV, please do so. Rest in peace to my dog, Worm. You know, I lost him about a month ago, suddenly. Me and him were good, close friends. He was also somebody that I managed music-wise. And it's been a whole lot to deal with, man. And we're still still doing what we can to keep his name alive and things like that. But I've been focused on that in my own personal music uh, career as well. So I just haven't been uploading on this channel. Uh, I still watch Battle Rap, just don't really update on it. Still buy cologne, just not as much as I was before. Still buy movies, obviously. I got about... 40 or 50 up uh, pickups to show in my next update that I'll film this week. But I wanted to sh go over some of the cologne pickups that I've had since the last update back in September, October. Um, it's 15 or 20. It's nothing crazy over the last eight months or something. Um, but we're going to get into that right now, man. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so. And also subscribe to Chat Arms TV. It's in the description. So let's get right into it, man. So the first one that I want to show... Um, I'm a big fan of Kenneth Cole. I, well, the two that I have, I really like. I have Kenneth Cole Blue, which I've had, is one that I kept. Obviously, it's a great one, like a blue, like an aquatic one. And then I got a Kenneth Cole Black, which I like. It. It's it's solid. It's not great, but it's solid. But I smelled this at Cole's. Me and my lady were there months ago. It was probably back in, I don't know, February, March, maybe. Maybe earlier than that. And that's Kenneth Cole uh, Copper Black. Um, some of these I still have the boxes for. Some of them I don't. This one smells, this is the my favorite one of the Kenneth Coles that I've got for sure. Um, it's got like apple, ginger, there's mandarin in here I think it says, cardamom. It's got bourbon whiskey in it, it's got black leather, vanilla. So it's got, it's like a sweet, uh, like boozy type scent. Shout out boozy badass. Um, but, uh, boy this one's such a, this one's such a beast. I love this one man. And again, this is, um, if you're not into like sweet scents or, or like so, you know it's got that 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 bourbon smell um you may not like this one but i love this one this is one of my favorite ones in this whole little haul over the last eight months that is kenneth gold copper black i got like i said i got it for cheap on fragrance and it was like 40 bucks for the 100 milliliter bottle at kohl's it was like that much for a 50 milliliter but you know that's how it roll that's how they go with the retail stuff but i definitely recommend kenneth cole copper black if you like those vibes if you like that kind of scent um i definitely recommend picking it up now we're going to get into like a little series of cheap ones that i've got um i don't have the notes put up on these uh, on the list on this one and the next little set that i'm gonna show but you know i let me and my lady are always going in and out, uh, in and out of bath and body works she always looks for lotions and and you know sprays and we look for candles and stuff like that and I, and I like their cologne, too. I've got Ocean, and I've got one other one, and I still keep those. I like them. But there's just not much to them. They, they all kind of smell similar. They like the aquatic smell. Good, like, fresh out the shower stuff or running errands. But I picked up Bath & Body Works Marble. Um, it's another solid one. I also got the body spray for it, too. Um, but it's similar to, like, the other ones. You know what I'm saying? It's just a real clean, like, fresh smell. Um, it kind of reminds... This one kind of reminds me of, like... Um, Abercrombie and Fitch first instinct together it's kind of got that vibe to it but it, it's similar to the other ones from, but we had like a coupon and I was like I'll grab it because I, I like these smells and they're and they don't last long or anything like that but they're they're good to, to pick up if you like just cheap stuff that you can throw on that smells good it just won't last you long that's Bath and Body Works marble now this next set I picked up in February or March before I went to Gatlinburg with my triple flicks mafia family and our and our our uh, better halves we all went 
um, to the mountains. And I said, you know what? We saw this when we was getting stuff for at Walmart. I said, I'm going to get this. as I got it as a joke thinking it would be terrible, right? And I like all four of these. It's the it's a something called Distillery Series. And you've got um, Alabama Moonshine, New York Rye, Kentucky Bourbon, and Tennessee Whiskey. I, again, this is like 12 bucks for these. They're like... Um, they're, it's four 15 milliliter like bottles. They all smell awesome, bro. Like I thought I was getting it as a joke because the Triple Flix Mafia clown on me and call me Fragrance Frankie, which I think is hilarious because I am Fragrance Frankie. That's my ultra ego, I guess, um, with the cologne stuff. But I got this as a joke thinking it's going to smell horrible. I'll show it to them as a gift. They'll laugh. We'll joke. It'll be funny. But they're all, they all smell really good. Like that's what I, that's the only thing I took the, the, that weekend. My favorite would be the um, Alabama Moonshine would be my favorite one, but they all got a real sweet, boozy vibe to them. And they last, uh, it, like, surprisingly six, seven hours for cheap, and they don't smell, like, super synthetic cheap to me. If you see these in your in a Walmart, it's, it's worth grabbing. It's like, I can say it was like 12 bucks or something, man. So that's a Distillery Series 4-pack there. This next cheapie is another one from Rue 21. Um, you know... My lady goes in there to grab, to look for clothes for her, or her daughter, stuff like that. Not whenever she goes in there, I look at the cologne because they don't make big boy sizes at Route 21. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I picked this one up. It's cool. It's again, it was like nine bucks. It's another one like the other Route 21 ones that I still have. It's just cheap ones. It's Infinite Woods. It's got like the same similar vibe, really synthetic smelling, but it's got a good vibe to it. It's another one that's just two or three hours is all that it lasts. But it was cheap and it's got a good scent, so I grabbed it. So that was the three uh, cheapies that I picked up. Now we'll get into some of the stuff over the last six to eight months that I've picked up from either Fragrance Net or just like rack stores. All right, so this next one that I'm going to show you, I'm a huge fan of the Kenneth Cole reaction. I still have that one. The watermelon scent, it, it smells so good. It's, it's one of the best smelling fragrances I've, I've ever smelled. It just doesn't last. Um, but it's so cheap. You can get like a 100 milliliter bottle for 25 bucks, something like that. I always wanted to look at this one because I love Kenneth Cole Reaction. And this was clearanced out for like 12 bucks. Uh, so it's Kenneth Cole Reaction t-shirt. This one doesn't doesn't have the same vibe. I mean, it's you can tell that it's got a, it's a Kenneth Cole Reaction. It's very similar to the other one, just an orange tint. Um, it's got juniper berry, white cedar, white musk, apple, cotton accord, pear, watermelon, coral scent you got lavender sandalwood you got a lot going on in this one right um it doesn't smell near as good to me as kenneth cole reaction it's still got a good scent though there's just something about the dry down on this one that smells off about it i don't know exactly what it is um but the initial scent smells really good it's another one that's it's fine it, it's nothing it it's nothing that you know is going to blow you away and it's it, it's got about two or three hour lasting power um, like uh, Kenneth Cole reaction, but it's far inferior. Like it's far below Kenneth Cole reaction, but it still it still smells good enough, especially for ten bucks. It's normally thirty or forty. It was just clearance on Fragrance Net a few months back. I think it's back to eighteen or nineteen dollars now. But Kenneth Cole reaction T-shirt. It's just I guess a flanker off that reaction line, but it's it's, it's cool. It's nothing great though. So let's go to the next one. Okay, so the next one is from the John Varvatos line. I didn't keep any of those that I had. Um, I had Artisan. I think I had Artisan Blue. I had Vintage. And I think I had Oud. Oud was just, I mean, it lasted a long time. It just was, it's just too spicy for me. Vintage was cool. Artisan and Artisan Blue, they smelled okay. They just don't last long at all. That's the big complaint I always have with Varvatos stuff. But me and my lady, this was like last week or two weeks ago or whatever. We were in um, Marshalls, and they had this for like $22 or something like that, and it's the 75 milliliter bottle. John Varvatos, Nick Jonas, this is the blue line. This one's incredible, bro. Like, I wasn't expecting anything from this. I was like, it's it, it's a blind buy, but I heard good things about this one, so I was like, I'll give it a shot. It's got mandarin, it's got pink pepper, it's got sage, it's got, it's got like a mint note, and it's got sandalwood. But this one right here, bro, you can definitely smell the sandalwood um, in it, but this one is really, really good. It's really nice, Clark. And in the lasted power on this, I got almost 10 hours, which for a Varvados clone is insane. But if you're into Varvados stuff, you just don't like the, 
the lack of lasting power, I, I suggest at least checking this one out. It gives you, it doesn't say that there's leather in this, but it give, it's got a leather vibe to it as well. Um, but I think this one's awesome. Now, I haven't smelled the other ones from Barbados Nick Jonas, like the, the red one, I think. I think there's a red one, and I think there's like a, there's a red and there's a silver. Um, I haven't smelled the red or silver, but the blue, I definitely recommend it, man. It's definitely worth checking out for sure. All right, so next up is uh, one that I had the toilet. I had the toilet of, of Versace Eros, uh, and I sold it when this one was coming out because at some point, because I, I smelled it, and I liked it a little better. They're very similar, though, to me. Like, I, I don't really know. I can't really tell the difference, honestly. But I got a 50 milliliter bottle of Versace Eros, the Parfum. Very similar just to the toilet version of a Versace Eros. Uh, it's got the smaller bottle. Um, I mean, it's it's definitely the you definitely smell that sweetness that comes with having Versace Eros it's one of the most popular you know designer fragrances as far as sales I'm pretty sure if you already have the toilet I don't really see what's the point unless you're just a big collector of getting the parfum I just replace the toilet with the parfum I think it, it lasts longer it's got a little bit more a little bit more kick to it but I mean, it's still got the green apple. It's got the green, uh, the mint, the tonka bean. It's still got all that stuff in it. I just feel like it was it was very difficult for me to distinguish one from the other. But this one does seem to last a little bit longer than the toilet, so that's why I picked it up because I I had sold the toilet and I was like, well, I'll get this at some point. So I just got the smaller bottle. But Versace Eros, uh, the parfum. If you haven't picked one up, if you had to choose between the two, I would choose this one. I just think it smell. It's got a little bit better last in power but they're very similar in the scent though for sure all right so this next one is from the uh, Yves Saint Laurent and the YSL line um, I, I love YSL obviously it's one of my favorite ones if anybody's watched my older videos I sold a few of them but I still kept a few of them too um, I kept the regular standard YSL loam I kept YSL uh, I got this one this is one of the last bottles I got back in the day that's YSL loam uh, intense or lintent sorry that, just a fingerprint magnet, man. It's a, it's a daily thing. This is one of my favorite fragrances that I have in my collection. So I still got probably over, i say probably close to 100 bottles, um, maybe more. But this is one of my favorite ones. You see, I've, I've put a good little dent in that one. Um, we got this at, um, oh, man. We got this one at, um, my lady got this one at Ulta when they was having that 50% off glitch or whatever it was. We didn't get it as cheap as everybody else got it, but we still got it for cheaper. I showed that to show the one I'm showing now, and that is um, La Nuit de Lome from East Saint Laurent, the Lintense. Um, I this is a couple months back, they were running a deal on this. I think it was like 40 bucks or something. Um, I don't think it was on Fragrance, it may have been on YSL's website, I can't remember, but it was a few months ago, because I was wanting to get a backup bottle of this, and this is very similar. Uh, this one's got violet, iris, vanilla, sage, and patchouli in it. I sprayed that one to spray this one right after, just to see if I can distinguish the two. Yeah, this one's definitely, the patchouli in this one you smell a little bit more than you do. I don't, I'm not even sure if it's if that note's in the, the other one. I'm sure it probably is. But they're very similar. This is just a two-ounce bottle. But this is more, this is like a, a 1A, 1B of these. Similar to um, the Versace Eros, the Toilette, and the Parfum. It's very, it, it's similar. There's, there's more of a, a difference in this one and that one than the Versace one. But it's still good to have it for that cheap cause, because now the the bottle of, of uh, YSL Loam Lintense is like a hundred and something dollars on the discount websites. It's back up to full price. So this was more or less just a, a backup for that one. But it, it smells amazing. They're so they're sweet. The lasting power is great. Um, definitely something to get you compliments, things like that. But that's uh this is the La Nuit de Loam Lintense from uh, Yves Saint Laurent. Bam. All right, so this next one is one from the Davidoff Cool Water line. You know, I still have Cool Water Wave. Um, I think I only I had Hot Water. I, got, I sold that one, and then I had Cool Water, something Summer Edition, which was just really underwhelming, I think. Yeah, so I sold that one, too. But I still have Cool Water Wave. I love that one. But this is Cool Water Intense from Davidoff. Um, this one is in that same vibe um, as far as prices go, but this is a completely different scent from Cool Water. Um this one has green mandarin, coconut, nectar, and amber. It's from 2019. Boy, this one is a problem, bro. 
This one is awesome. Um, Ross from TLTG Reviews, shout out to him. Um, the, he talked about this one. That's what made me pick this up. Um, definitely different vibe from the normal cool water stuff, which is what I wanted. You don't want, you know, with cool water intense, it doesn't really have much of an aquatic vibe to it. It's got more of a, a grown and sexy vibe to it, but I think it smells great, man. And the lasting power on this, especially for cool water, I mean, it's almost eight hours on, on me. You know, cool water wave last maybe four, you know. But the, like I said, green mandarin, coconut nectar, and amber is all that the notes they have listed on Fragrance Snap. But I think it smells amazing, man. And it's another one that's like 40 bucks, 35, 40 bucks for the 125 milliliter bottle. So, cool water wave. Not cool water wave, cool water intense, sorry. Bam. All right, these next two that I'm going to show you are from the Jimmy Choo line. Um, Jimmy Choo, I only have Jimmy Choo Man Ice, which I've had. I think it smells amazing. It's like just for straight up lemon, uh, glass of lemonade kind of deal. Great for the summer stuff that's you know summer coming up. But I picked this one up. Me and um, me and my my lady it's, was in Ulta another time. This was a couple months back, three or four months back maybe. And I got to test this, and I was like, man, this smells really good. I'll get it the next time I end up doing an order on fragrance now, whenever that is. And that's Jimmy Choo Man Blue. Now this one is so dope this is such a good one so you got cypress leather clary sage lavender black pepper first of all jimmy choo knocks it out the park i feel like with the presentation like the bottles are awesome but don't, look at this watch this spray this motherfucker makes it rain so look at that Woo. man this one is incredible you definitely feel that that you smell that that cypress and that black pepper but still, I don't know if it's the leather or the lavender or what it is that kind of mixes well with this with the spice that gives it. I mean, it definitely gives it a blue fragrance vibe, if you know what I mean. Not not so much light blue, but it smells so good, bro. And on top of that, the lasting power on this one is eight to ten hours. I mean, it smells awesome. It, you know, on the dry down, it smells good. Um, on your, you know, I. I I definitely recommend it. You know, I love a Jimmy Choo uh, Man Ice, but it's just, it's not one that's going to give you a, <clears throat> a long last like the Jimmy Choo Man Blue will, but this one's incredible, man. I really recommend that one. And these are cheap too, man. Those are like 30, 40 bucks or something like that. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is from Jimmy Choo also. I'm just going to keep it the same clip here. Um, it's, let's see, let me pull it up here. Boom. There we go. We've got uh, Jimmy Choo Man Intense, which is another one that was the same vibe, uh, well, same price range, same bottle style. You know, it's the I don't have the regular Jimmy Choo Man, like just the standard one, because um, I go intense. I'm an intense person, so I go intense. You know what I mean? This has got lavender, melon, mandarin orange, artemisia, and black pepper in it. And again, this is the one with that uh, with that big spray. Like I make it rain, son. Boy, boy, boy. Um, again, this one gives me similar vibes to like, whoops. This one gives me similar vibes to Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct together. Now, I'm sure this came out before that. I just had that before I had this. It's kind of that similar vibe. The last in power on this is way better than that one, though. Um, if you like that style of fragrance, to me, it smells similar to that. Um, that's Jimmy Choo Man Intense. Definitely recommend both of those. Again, 100 milliliter bottles, 35 bucks on Fragrance Net. The 50 milliliter bottles are like 20 something. Definitely worth the purchase to me. You feel, if, if it's a blind buy, I, I recommend it. Um, if you like that style of fragrance, you know, the black pepper, the, the spice, but it, it it's not too spicy. It ain't too strong. And I think they're dope, man. Woo. All right, just got a couple more left. This one is one I actually picked up last night at Marshall. Me and my lady were out there shopping. Um, and it's from Burberry, and that is Mr. Burberry Indigo. Now, I have Burberry Touch. Definitely an all-time fragrance for me that I'll keep buying bottles of forever. It's, it's definitely a stay in my collection from here on out. I, I love that one. Um, this one, I had this in one hand, and it was 24 bucks for the 100 milliliter, which is... Uh, is it 100 milliliter? It may be smaller than that. No, this is the 50. Well, the 50 milliliter was 25 on Fragrance Net. It was 24 on uh, Marshall, so same price, but you got it then. 
Um, I love the presentation of the bottle too. This has got grapefruit, bergamot, oak moss, amber, and rosemary. Now I had this in one hand for $24.99, and then I had a 125 milliliter bottle of Polo Ultra Blue in the other hand. Then I started reading the notes on Polo Ultra Blue, and it had verbena, and I was like, man, I don't want to, I don't want to smell like Irish tweed in this motherfucker. So I didn't get it. I got this, and man, this one is, uh, this one's really nice, Clark. Again, you get that. The rosemary, you definitely smell the rosemary in there, but you also get that grapefruit to citrus vibe to it as well. Completely different vibe than like Burberry Touch, but I'm glad that I picked this one up. This is one that I never had um, in all the bottles that I bought. This is always one that I see out and I would never get it or I'd put it in my cart on fragrance stand and take it out. But I'm glad that I picked it up. If you're a fan of, Bur of Burberry Touch, this is different than that, but it's still it's 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 really really good and, and i haven't had a chance to wear because i just bought it last night as far as to see the lasting power on it but just first impression of it i really do like it man i'm glad i picked it up i ended up you know saving 25 bucks by not getting polo ultra blue just those notes freaked me it just scared me man i i, I don't anytime i saw i saw verbena green verbena and stuff like that i was like eh, let me just stay away um, but yeah mr burberry indigo definitely dig that one all right so this next one it's from the Dolce Gabbana line. Now, from the light blue line, you know, I had all the light blue flankers. I only kept light blue intense just because all the other ones were cool, but light blue intense was the best one to me. So I just kept that one. Um, but I've always wanted to try, I always heard good things about just the standard Dolce Gabbana pour ohm. And it was one that I never had before. And a few months back, I grabbed this. Uh, I think it was like, it was like $40 for the you know, for the standard Dolce Gabbana, for the uh, 125 milliliter. Um, this one has mandarin orange, citrus, neroli, bergamot, pepper, sage, lavender, tobacco, cedar, tonka bean. Whole lot going on in this one. Um, but, man, this is a good one too. It, it reminds me, you know, the Dolce Gabbana Intenso, it's got that powdery, fresh smell. I get that vibe with this one too. This smells very similar to Intenso does. Intenso is just, I feel like it, it's more of an amped up version. And that may be the tobacco that I'm smelling in this. or um, But it's got a really clean, fresh scent to it. And the lasting power on this is it does it does better than the light blue intense. So I like it a lot, man. It's just a, it's a different vibe. If you like the, if you already have Dolce Gabbana Intenso, or if you've already tried it and you're not a big fan of it, you probably won't like this one. Because obviously this one came out first. But I used to have Intenso. And, um, I feel like this is very similar to that. Oh, sorry. Dolce Gabbana Pour Ohm. So we're going to get one more in and then we'll get out of your hair here. This last one, and I'm probably going to butcher this name, is from the um, the Guerlain line. And it's Guerlain uh, Loam Ideal. And this is one I've been hearing about for months and months since I started watching cologne videos and wanting to get in and get buying more cologne. People talk about this line. Not just this one, but this line in general. And it was just one I never bought. I never got a chance to sample anything. But I heard so many people talking about this one that I would think back in March, maybe, or February, or March, or April, I picked this up in an order that I did. It's went way back up. Now, it wasn't, it's showing here that it's $72 on fragrance. And it was not, it was like $40 something dollars when I got it. It's back up. I don't know why. But. It's from 2014, it says. You got bitter orange, orange blossom, rosemary, citrus, tonka bean, almond, vetiver, cedar, and leather. Now, first of all, this bottle is legit. It's a legit-ass bottle. It's a lab, for sure. Um, great spray. Woo, boy. This one, it's definitely got like, I, I'm guessing it may be the almond that I'm smelling. It's almost got like a, uh, a cinnamon sweet you know type vibe to it um but this blend is really really good it makes me want to check out some of those other ones and, and i will at some point down the road um i don't plan on doing regular fragrance videos i don't think like i used to uh, i may just do hauls every you know so often whenever i get a handful and you know over the, the few months or whatever but i really recommend this one man i haven't tried sport i know there's one that's called sport from my uh, from from Guerlain, but the presentation of this is legit. This is definitely one of those high, higher end designer fragrances. It feels like it kind of puts it in that same line as like to me. I kind of get a vibe in the same line of like 
YSL or, or Dolce Gabbana or stuff like that. Um, but I look forward to checking out some of the other ones from them. But this one's a this one's a heavy hitter for sure. Lasting power on this is it's in, insane. I mean, it was 12 hours I think when I used it a few days ago or whatever it was. Um, but yeah, man, for sure that's the one I'm gonna end it off with. Was that one? So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. I don't know how often I'm gonna be doing these, like I said, but um, just stay tuned for more content, man. Chatty Bob 11:30. We'll do movie stuff still. Still gonna do cologne stuff every now and again. So peace. Yo,